Princess Diana reportedly had a heartbreaking concern for Prince Harry, fearing a rivalry with William. Whilst it is well known that the two brothers' relationship is now frosty and distant, that wasn't always the case. They were once close, growing up together through the trauma of losing their beloved mum Diana. But even then, a new royal book has claimed that their relationship was fraught with rivalry. The new bombshell book, called My Mother and I, by Ingrid Seward, documents the fraught relationship between the monarch and late Queen Elizabeth II. In amongst, it also contains a number of revelations about the likes of Prince Harry, Meghan, and even Diana. Ingrid claims that Harry and William's relationship has always been difficult, to the point that Harry developed a complex about being second best. She writes that this led Diana to call her youngest son her little baby as he did not want to share his mother with his eldest brother. The author added, Diana was concerned everyone was going to think he was thick as he didn't have any thirst for knowledge and was not interested in sitting down with a book. He always felt the need to compete in everything, especially with his brother. The new book dropped just hours after Harry and Meghan broke cover for the first time since launching their new website. Despite having left as working royals, some claim the website has a heavy royal focus. But the Sussexes had little time for their critics, with a representative for the couple telling the mirror, this couple will not be broken. They added, we've heard time and time again that certain opportunities are make or break for the couple. They're still here, they're still working and pursuing what they believe in, despite constantly being challenged and criticized. This couple will not be broken. This came as the self-exiled Duke and Duchess traveled to Canada this week, the country they once considered living in. Harry and Meghan considered settling in the country back in 2020 after they left the UK, before deciding on moving on to Montecito, California. But after last week's whirlwind trip to the UK, Harry traveled to Whistler, in British Columbia for the one-year-to-go event for next year's Invictus Games, where winter sports will make their first appearance. Harry gave sit skiing a go as the royal couple met athletes at the Whistler Blackcomb Ski Resort in British Columbia on Valentine's Day. The king's second son could be seen careening down the slopes, seemingly enjoying himself on his return to Canada, as they both seemed in good spirits. Harry's passion for the Invictus Games, which he founded back in 2014 for sick and injured military personnel and veterans, continued well beyond his time as a working royal. At the Games next year, around 550 competitors from up to 25 countries will compete in adaptive events like sitting volleyball, swimming and wheelchair basketball, and for the first time winter sports like alpine skiing, snowboarding and wheelchair curling will be on the schedule.